Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the six screws across the top of your grill. Go ahead and put those screws aside. Go ahead and lift up and unlock the edge of your grill right here. And tip that forward. Tilt that grill forward and slide it off. You're gonna be dislodging these tabs on the back that go into your valence. On the back of our grill here, we're gonna remove our emblem and there are two 3 8 nuts here. We're gonna go ahead, loosen and remove these. Flip the grill over and we'll remove the emblem. Let's go ahead and install that on the new grill. Let's go ahead and feed our emblem through the holes. And we're just gonna flip this over. These nuts started by hand, and we'll go ahead and snug those down. When installing your grill, you want to go ahead and make sure that these two tabs fit into the notch in the header panel. And there's two on the other side as well. So we're gonna feed those down and in first. And once those are in, we'll go ahead and push the grill back and into place. With the low part of the grill popped into place, we wanna make sure that our upper tab lines up here. And we're gonna carefully slide that back and pop the upper part of the grill into place. Once that snaps in, we're gonna start installing our screws atop, acro uh, across the top of the grill. I'm gonna go ahead and get our screws installed. I'm gonna get them all started and then we'll come back and tighten them down. Just run these across the whole top. With all the screws started, we're gonna go ahead and snug these down. and just continue across the top.